Hi everybody, Rob Keys here, playing a brand new game called Enter the Gungeon. It came out last week on uh, PC, Mac, and it's on PS4 as well. It supports local co-op, but unfortunately not online co-op. I was going to get one of my buddies to play it so we can try it together, but it's not. Uh, maybe they can add that in a future update. But this thing's basically, uh, it's, like a, it's a roguelike game, but instead of using your fantasy swords and stuff, you're using bullets. <laughs> All sorts of crazy guns. All I've done is the t tutorial so far a couple of days ago. Um... There are four characters to choose from, and I think when you play co-op, you have that person in the purple on the right, the sorcerer or whatever they're called. Um, so who was I using? I think I used... Was it this dude? The marine? I think it was the marine. Wait. Or the, is there a thing called the hunter, maybe? That's who I was. I was the hunter. Um, so I did the tutorial stuff, which is up here. If I go straight up. Um, and I'm going to go into the actual game. Which, I'm hoping it just saves my progress, I guess. You are now ready to enter the gungeon. Okay, cool. Crap, I totally forget the controls. There's a way to roll. Um, there are... Keep off the lead lower. Okay, I'll figure out these controls in a sec. Okay, so I think it's the bumper is fire. Unlimited ammo, it reloads. Okay, so it's, it's, a, it's like a retro six shooter, I guess. And then a Y is switch weapons. I have 100 crossbow shots. Cool, that's really neat. Um, cool, you know, like 8-bit eight, eight or 16-bit graphics. Um, you can destroy shit everywhere, I'll show you in a sec. Okay, so B is roll. I think X is probably interact. Y is switch weapons, I'll stick with the gun. Uh, and I think the right trigger? Who's the left? Oh, left trigger is the map, which I can move around with. I can move with the player with the left stick and the right stick. I can move around the map. Uh, I don't know what left bumper does. There's some shit in the top left there in the HUD, which looks like special ammo, maybe. So bumper shoot. I th I'm pretty sure the right trigger is health, but whatever. We'll figure this out. Shrine to an old gunslinger. There's an inscription. Kill your past. You've already damned your future. Okay. Um, very Zelda-like there. Okay, A's interact. What's a uh, smashy smashy then? Uh... What? Okay, uh, left bumper is also roll. I thought there was a way to smash it. Okay, maybe I'm just not doing it right. Whatever. Let's go kill something. Shit! Ow! So you time your rolls right. You can, uh... Smash your shit, so... Yeah, like that. I don't know what that is. Oh, you can also push this? Is it... Yeah, A. That's pretty sweet. You can knock it up and it can... I guess you can block bullets with it. Yeah, you can. That's awesome. So they got all the little details right, which is kind of neat. I can shoot shit too. The frame rate takes a dump though. Maybe it's because I have too many monitors hooked up right now. I got three, three screens and one of them. Holy shit. Whoa! Oh shit. Uh. Ow! Oh, I killed him. Jeez, that guy was scary as shit. Okay, in the top right, you can see the mini-map there, so... That's cool. It's a creepy picture. It's like zombie Gandalf. Or you just walk into stuff to blow it up. I haven't found anything in any of these... ...boxes and shit, so... Whatever. Let's see what's next. Not where I started? Oh. Oh. Look at the map, fool. Go down. Okay. Oh, shit. Bullet dude. Ah! Ah! I need a better gun for sure. In the training montage, I had way better weapons. When I heard about this game, you can pick up all sorts of crazy upgrades that make your 
weapon is just like insane. These guys cool bullets. I like how that guy was actually like teleporting, phasing in and out. Like a legit ghost. Hmm, left or right? Let's go left. Oh shit, pick it up. Oh, I'm stuck. Get out of here, you slimes. Oh. That little hamster pet is driving me crazy. It's always distracting me. Whew, we did it. That's cool, man. Okay, so it's pretty essential to fill these tables up to block shots and shit. Uh, that symbol looks like it's a boss, maybe? And the bottom left one is X'd out. I guess we can fight this guy? Oh, shit. This is gonna be rad bad. Oh, it's a vendor. No, we're good. Hey, buddy. Oh, okay, I see. I have nine of these things, and I can buy armor. For 25. Potion of gun friendship? Half heart. Oh, okay. It is very Zelda like. That's really cool. Can I talk to the guy directly? Watch out for all. <laughs> yeah, no shit, dude. Watch out for the bullets. Thanks. Okay, I guess I have to keep exploring to get more money to open that shit. Oh, wait. Another door over here? Give me loot. Oh, shit. Gotta keep moving. That guy's got a shotgun shell for head. <laughs> for a body, I should say. Yeah, what the? Oh, crap. No, watch when I reload the weapon, he clips it. Alright, 14 coins. Hmm. Nothing. I don't get anything for that. I wish he dropped, um... Like, when you smash all these things, I wish they dropped coins and shit. Oh, nice. Give me a weapon! What is that? What is it? A ruby bracelet. If you throw a gun, it explodes. Okay. Sure. Ah, oh, that was the locked door from before. Ah, look at this. We're finishing that map real nice. Let's take a look. So I guess we'll go all the way to the right. See what that question mark is. Oh yeah, I love that reload. I'm curious what the benefit of this problem is. Let me try it. Oh, shit. Oh, I keep pressing the trigger. It's a bumper. Damn it. What's up, buddy? What's up? What's this, a key? Sweet. Didn't have to buy it. Come on. There's got to be some sort of loot. Why am I smashing all this shit? In Zelda, when you smash pots, you get all sorts of crazy stuff. Little rupees. be a lot of fun co-op. Fuck, is that a wizard? Ah! Two of them. Whoa. Ah! Oh, I killed him. Sweet. 21 coins. Alright, let's... So the door north just opened. Let's go this way first. Oh, fuck. Slime? Jesus. What's up? You're dead. Mastery dodging. 
Alright, 24 bullets or coins or whatever, so I can buy pretty much anything at that shop soon. Okay, so this is a secret door we can't get to until after. Let's go back. I kind of want to finish the area before progressing, so we'll go through this north door. Take a peek. Oh, oh god. Wow! These guys are insane, they're, they're shooting themselves. These purple dudes. Alright, so after you kill everyone, all the bullets just come straight towards you. Like the orbs in the Fable games. Fun times. Alright. Come on, weapon chest. Ooh. Wait, is this like the boss? Yeah, that does look like the boss. I'm not ready for this shit yet. Also, I need help. Okay. Let's finish this area. Hopefully there's a better weapon or health or something down here. I bet by going down we'll come up through that secret door on the right. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh, shit, I pressed the wrong button. Hmm, killed by a gun nut. Uh, I only lasted 10 minutes. <laughs> My first attempt. Oh, shit. Uh, the past still haunts you, so you can do a quick restart or return to the breach. So the breach is the lobby area at the beginning. Um, what happens if I... It's a roguelike game, so it might just start me at the very beginning, right? I don't imagine I get to keep that money. Yeah, I lost it all. Fuck! Okay, well... <laughs> Tis the nature of roguelike games. Hmm. Well, this has got full ammo for the stupid crossbow I never use. Alright, well anyways, that's kind of a first look. I will, um... When I finish my taxes, which I have to do still this weekend, I will, um... Try to put a couple hours into this game so I can level up and get better weapons and shit, and then I can make another video once, uh... Once I'm better at this. But here's sort of your first look, first experience, what it's like first jumping in to enter the gungeon, but before you can enter the actual game, where I'm at right now, you will have to do like a 10 minute, 15 minute tutorial, which is pretty fun, and, and you get some far better weapons than this stupid crossbow and six shooter. We should just play a different character, there are four characters to choose. Maybe that's what I'll do, I'll play each character for a little bit. If people care about these videos, I'll do uh, one video for each character, and then a video later on, sort of like uh, quote unquote end game content, even though it's a roguelike game. But, anyways, if you do want to see more of this game or any other specific games that are coming out, right now on my PlayStation 4, I'm installing the Doom beta, which I've yet to try, I'm very curious, and Dark Souls 3. I'm thinking I'll make a video on that because I've never played a Souls game. So, um, until next time, cheers. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, we'll see you guys later.